Welcome to Max QSoft web development tutorial. We're going to show you today how to manage a Max QSoft website. Max QSoft develops most of their websites using the Joomla content management system. A very powerful system that allows you the user without any knowledge of HTML and programming to be able to manage your website yourself. You'll be able to add links, add pictures, add words, add content, content in general. You, In fact, with a Max QSoft website, you can add usually unlimited number of pages, which means unlimited number of links. And the only thing that limits you is your time. Now we're going to go into the back end. Of course, you will be logging in. We'll provide you with your password to log in. Now, we're going to show you how to enter your article and your article is your content so click on your article manager which you can find on content in this article manager section here you can see the articles are content you can see green check mark represents published would mean they're visible to your user on the site a red circle with an X means that it's unpublished and all these can be unpublished or this can be published at any time by just clicking on them. The front page shows the only thing published is the Access Profits 101. Here's your new button which will allow you to create a new article or new content and we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Here you will see your editor box, much similar. It works much similar to Word. Here you can see your insert. This is where you create a hyperlink. This is where you would go to insert a picture. And there's many ways to do that. Take a look at the many different tools that are here. Take the time to mouse through them, very important. Over here, show some parameters, changes. Again, take the time to go through them and understand them and see what they all represent very useful tools okay now we're going to go ahead and grab some content which is already prepared I'm going to grab that and I'm going to return to the back end and I'm going to paste that just that simple you've got your content in there and now I'm going to name this test 2 and just as a practice, I usually give the same name to the alias. And in most cases, that works perfect. Um, I'm going to choose Access. If MaxQSoft develops your website it, using the Joomla content management system, we, use, we usually create your section and your categories for you. No need to do that. Here you can see an Insert Image button. So you can insert an image at any time just using this button right here just click on the area where you'd like the image to show and click the insert button and then it will you'll be taken to an area that you can access your computer let's try this again sometimes uh, it doesn't work that well so there we go you can browse you can browse your computer and grab your image once you grab your image you will click start up and your image will appear inside here then you will click on your image like this it will show up here and then you click insert and that's it that's all you need to do click insert and your picture will show up now I'm going to go ahead and close this now you can try that at any time we can also do something here which is called read more you can create a read more section now I'm I'm, I'm explaining some rather advanced stuff to you. Um, in another tutorial I'll go over the read more. But uh, what a read more it does is it allows the reader to see just a small piece of your document and then later you click on the read more button and you'll be able to go to the full content. But this is not shown here and that's not used on this particular site. So let's go ahead and save and save this document. Now we're going to go ahead and create a menu item. We have to make it a menu item so that it's visible on the site. So we're going to go to New. And we're going to choose Articles. We placed the document Articles, Article Layout, just the way the, way the articles show up. And I'm going to 
for consistency, I give the same name to this, and I'm going to, as customer, copy and paste. And here you will see the names of existing menus. These menus are you won't see on this particular site only because um, they're unpublished. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab that document using the select button there. It pops up. There's that document. We've got it there. Now it's ready. All we have to do is go over and in this case we'll apply so that we can stay there. And then we can go ahead and take a look at the site will come up there we go so now I'm going to refresh and you're going to see test 2 if I click on it you'll see how it shows up there rather nice rather simple and rather easy and that's how it is with a Max QSoft website just that simple now take a look at these here um, this is your home your contacts these show up here okay now if we want to have a sub menu show up below a, a menu that's on top, very simple to do. All we have to do is go back in and to make that sub menu show up under the about, the instead of clicking the top like we did here when we put the test in, we're going to now add that to the about right here. Okay? And now we're gonna apply and watch what happens. Go back. We're going to refresh, and that page still remains, but where is it? It's not over here anymore, but now it is here. Okay, so it popped up there. Okay, so let's go back to the front. Let's go back to Joomla backhand. So it's just that easy. Okay, now let's save this, and now we're going to go and create a simple module. Go to extensions, click module manager, and to create, now this works the same as your article manager. You can always at any time click on any one of these that's on your site and change the content that's in them. And that's the same thing for the article manager. Now we're going to go ahead and create a module. I'm going to show you what a module is. You'll see in a minute. I'm going to click custom HTML and we're going to click next. Now we're going to, like always, provide with a title. I'm going to call it test me. And notice it's on the left. You're going to see what that means in a minute. And this says all. I don't want it, this one to show up on all pages. So I'm going to click here, click none first, and click here. And I'm going to choose the home page, which is the front page. And I'm going to choose to put that also here. OK? So that means it will show up on both those pages. And now I'm going to go and grab that content, but this time I'm only going to grab a small piece because this is for a module and I don't want um, everything, which I will be placing right here on the left side. Notice this is a module, this is a module, this is a module here, and this is a module here. Let's go back in. So we're going to paste it here, and again, this is simple, just like Word, very easy to use and I'm going to click apply and notice this says yes enabled yes to title so we'll just apply and now we're going to go back to our Max QSoft website and take a look look at that test me it is just that simple brilliant Max Q websites are brilliant and just that simple just amazing how we can charge small amount of money for such a powerful, powerful site. Um, okay, now that we've done that, um, let's take a look at a couple of things here. Um, there is your logo, which can easily be modified using some other techniques, but we'll go over that on another time. For now, I think that's it. We're going to wrap up. Here again is your image where you're able to create your image in there, and here again is your link if you, we wanted to create a hyperlink we would for example let's create a hyperlink we'll select this entire area right here and we're going to click on hyperlink um, we'll put our hyperlink here and I'm going to say Yahoo hyperlink Yahoo and we can choose here whether we wanted to 
pop up in the same window right here or new window. And I'm going to choose new window and I'm going to just click insert. It's that simple. It is done. There's my link. And all I have to do is pop up here and apply or save and refresh. This might not look pretty. There we go. All I have to do is click here and there is Yahoo coming up there. Now we don't need to show that. And now I think that's it. I'll um, wrap this up for today and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for allowing us to show your tutorial. Thank you.